Today we're unboxing my newest ambassador shipment from MZ Wallace. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole, and on this channel we talk about everything from bag reviews, product reviews, and so much more. So if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. Today we're going to unbox my latest picks from the MZ Wallace Ambassador Shop. And if you're not familiar with what that is, I am a part of their ambassador program because I love their products. I purchased my first bag a little over a year ago, fell in love, and then applied to be part of their program. So as part of their program, we get to pick out a couple of bags um, every quarter, and these are my picks for this quarter. So let's see what I got. Of course, I will link down below um, both of the bags that I selected in case you want to check them out for yourself. Um, and. If you have any questions, as always, drop them in the comment box. I'm happy to answer them for you. Let me go ahead and just get this open, and then we will see what's inside. All right, I just got all the tape cut off, and this is what we are looking at. MZ Wallace has some of the best dust bags. They're these beautiful cloud dust bags. Let me go ahead and set that down. Here we go. Okay, so first bag I'll pull out is this guy and this is the small Crosby hobo now you may be thinking why would you pick this bag because I have the Crosby tote and I thought that would be such an awesome comparison for you guys um, because they are different sized bags but they look really similar so here is the small Crosby hobo got a pocket there in the back so you'll see on the bag that it has silver hardware it has these Italian leather details that are really really nice Really great high quality nylon is what it's made out of. And then let's take a look on the inside. Okay, so it comes with this little pouch and the pouch is attached to a key leash. On the pouch, the zipper pull looks different than the rest of the bag. It's a little silver MZ Wallace diamond. It comes with a crossbody strap. Okay, so it comes with this long nylon adjustable crossbody strap. It also comes with a thin leather strap, but wait, there's more. <laughs> Let's take this out so we can take a look at it. So this is what the leather strap looks like. It's black and it has like that beautiful maroon edge paint, silver hardware, adjustable. Okay, and in addition to that strap, it also comes with a braided leather chain strap that you can use as a shoulder bag. It's so pretty. I love all of the options that are included with the bag. On the inside, it's gonna be a little tough to see because it is dark, but the layout on the inside of the bag looks like this. You have these two leather trimmed pockets right here. And then on the opposite side, you have, let me put this little pouch back in. You have a zippered pocket. And on the inside of the zippered pocket, you have two more little slip pockets. So really, really nice size. I think this is a great size for a purse. You also have the pocket on the back. Looks like that. And then on the front, you have three pockets. So one right here, and then one right here. This looks like a really nicely sized pocket. There's another dust bag. And then another one right in front of that. So many little pockets. This would make such a great purse and even a minimal diaper bag. I cannot wait to pack this up and show it to you guys. All right, the second item I chose, I'm really excited about because you guys know I love a good convertible backpack. And this bag is the Metro Convertible Backpack. It's a super cute little tote, but then it also has backpack straps. So you can carry it as a tote or as a backpack. I love the options, especially as a mom, being hands-free is so important. So let's take a look at what we're working with here. Oh, the hardware on this bag is matte black, which is really nice. So it's like a matte black hardware, really pretty. And then it has this little cinch right here. So it does zip closed on the top. I wanna see what this zipper pull looks like. Oh, it's black with, red, with that maroon edge paint and then black hardware, really, really nice. Okay. So on the inside of this bag, you get a pouch. Looks like a fairly large pouch. Of course, one of the special things about MZ Wallace is you can store the bag inside the pouch when you're not using it. The interior is a beautiful light gray. 
So on the inside, you're gonna have that same Metro pocket. Um, it's trimmed in the leather, and then it has the two little slip pockets in there, and then the Metro card, like little slip pocket right in front. And then on the opposite side, you have the same um, two leather trimmed slip pockets. Really nice size. And one thing that's cool about this bag is it has pockets on the outside of the bag. So you have two little pockets on the outside. You have a pocket in the back right here. Okay, that's super cute. Perfect place to put like AirPods or a card case. Um, and then let's kind of cinch it up and see what it looks like. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Can't wait to get this packed up for you guys too. Um, oh, I love the MZ Wallace and the matte black on the front. It looks so nice. Um, but that is a quick first look at both of the bags that I picked from MZ Wallace this quarter. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box down below. Like I said, I'll link to both of the bags so you can check them out. And thanks again, as always, for watching, and I'll see you guys again in my next one. Bye!